And then 1965, when the Voting Rights Act was passed, it all should have been over effectively because the basic democratic rights that the movement was struggling for had been achieved. But it hadn't been achieved for the masses of African workers and poor people who were able to determine that yes, the preachers and the lawyers and the rest of it, you got what you want, but what we want and need is black power. And the demand for black power did more than anything. What it did was change or expose the real nature of the struggle that we were involved in and made it clear that we're not out here trying to struggle to change anybody's mind. What we want is power over our own lives. And when the movement determined that the issue was power, what it did was put itself in the same level as all the other revolutionary struggles of oppressed people happening everywhere in the world. It became an anti-colonial movement at the juncture the issue became one of power. When they said power, it united with the struggles being led by people like Che Guevara, and not only throughout Latin America, but in Africa, and all the oppressed and fighting peoples of the world. That became a crucial issue.